Hello everyone. So today we are going to study the next topic, which is the functional limitations of sense organs. And uh, here we need to understand that uh, our sense organs they function with uh, certain limitations. For instance, if we just take example of our eyes, you know, so our eyes actually cannot see things that are too bright or that are too dim. Our ears cannot hear things that are too soft or faint or that are too loud. You know, so that's also true for the other sense organs. Likewise, you know, so basically as human beings, you know, we are functioning within a limited range of stimulation only, you know, and uh, even when uh, a stimulus needs to be noticed, you know, by any uh, uh, sensory receptor, it needs to have uh, an uh, optimal intensity or uh, magnitude, you know. And uh, so let us just understand what is the meaning of psychophysics. So it is the relationship uh, between stimuli and the sensations uh, which they are actually evoking, uh, that actually is being studied uh, under this discipline which is called the psychophysics. So we have done a couple of uh, disciplines before which very clearly talks about uh, the relationship of psychology with many other. So likewise here also we are trying to understand the relationship between the stimuli and the sensations. Then coming to the next one, which is the absolute threshold or the absolute Lyman, you know. So uh, this is where we need to understand that, you know, the stimulus needs to have a minimum value or so to say minimum weight. Now that is important because uh, that is very, very much required to activate a sensory system. If the stimulus will not have a certain value if it will not have a certain weight so to say a minimum value or weight it will not get uh, you know noticed by the sensory system or the sensory system will not be activated so that is what is the meaning of uh, absolute threshold or absolute uh, Lyman for instance if we just take example of um, sugar granules and a glass of water so when we add these uh, sugar granules to a glass of water at times you know uh, we don't really feel the sweetness you know we don't really feel that uh, the added sugar has actually made any difference so we tend to add a little more then again when we try uh, the glass of water we still feel that it's not sweet enough then we add a little more that means to really activate you know, my uh, my sense organ, you know, uh, which is so to say my own um, tongue, you know, which does have a sensation, you know, where I can get the taste, you know, uh, I would probably need a few more sugar granules to be added. And that's when the sweetness in the water can be increased and I will feel the sweetness. I will feel the sensation on my tongue of the sweetness. You know, so here we need to understand that, uh, you know, when that point comes, when you will actually finally say that the water is now sweet. So that's where I need to understand that the minimum number of sugar granules which are required to say that the water is sweet, that minimum number of sugar granules is what is called the absolute threshold, is what is called the absolute Lyman. Now I go on to the next one, which is the difference threshold or the difference Lyman. Now sometimes, you know, um, we need to notice that uh, there are uh, two stimuli, you know, which probably could be different from each other. But again, there needs to be a minimum difference, you know, between the, the value of the two stimuli you know, which helps me to understand that, you know, yes, these two are different. You know, so the smallest difference in the value of the two stimuli, that actually is very necessary to notice them as different, is what is called the difference threshold or the difference Lyman. 
Now going back to the same uh, little experiment on uh, the sugar granules and glass of water, I have got my glass of water, which is sweet enough, you know, and uh, with the help of uh, a minimum number of sugar granules, which I added to the water. But now I want to make it still more sweeter so that I can understand the difference between the less sweeter and the more sweeter um, glass of water. So again, I'm going to actually add sugar granules one after another, you know. And uh, of course, after adding a few granules, I will notice that a point has reached where now the water is tasting rather sweeter than the previous so glass of water which was also sweet you know so those number of sugar granules added to the water which have actually helped me generate an experience of sweetness that is different from the previous sweetness you know is what is called my difference threshold is probably what is called my difference Lyman you know so uh, this is what uh, we've discussed today in essence these three important terms uh, psychophysics the absolute threshold or absolute Lyman the difference threshold or the difference Lyman so this was it for today's audio video thank you so much